Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little comparison here between uh, the new OnePlus 5T and the Google Pixel 2. Uh, so these are the best stock Android phones you can get right now in Android land. And I think the Pixel 2 is slightly more expensive than the uh, 6 gig RAM model of the OnePlus 5T. Uh, but does it give the same performance? We're going to check it out. So you can see straight away here the boot up uh, just uh, blows away the 5T. I mean, look at that. That is a massive difference, nearly twice as fast uh, when it comes to the boot up. So props to Google for making that really uh, fast and furious. Uh, we just wanted to have a look at the performance then. So we have installed a few apps here on uh, the uh, 5T and the Pixel 2 and we're just going to start with the basic ones I think we've closed everything down and both of them are fully up to date obviously we do have Android Oreo uh, versus the Nugget with the OnePlus 5T so maybe that will make a difference uh, so I don't know what happened then let's start again go So that was the pixel, similar, I think that was the pixel again but only just, very similar, uh, very similar again you know, I think uh, you can see both of them nice stock. Uh, builds here so you're going to get that nice stock speed on both of them I can't uh, see a huge difference when it comes to most of the apps let's have a look at Play Store again you know we're very comparable let's have a look at the games so a little ad advert on the left there Wow. So that kind of messed the comparison up. Let's try that again. So I think the pixel there, uh, but again, you get all, all those ads ruining the experience. Again, pixel. I mean, you really have to slow things down to like uh, epic proportions to see the difference here. But it's interesting because the Pixel only runs on uh, four gigs of RAM, same kind of processing setup. But it does have that Android Oreo, which is inexplicable why OnePlus didn't actually put it on the 5T. I mean, I hope that it's not going to be long until we do get it. But I mean, you can see here. Uh, you know, uh, massive difference in terms of the apps opening. So, are we done? The reason why we're using the smaller uh, Pixel is obviously because it has a good display and is uh, more affordable, really. I don't think you should be paying more than 600 euro for a high-end Android phone unless it's Samsung so with this one I think we're having the OnePlus 5T load a little bit faster the data uh, which is nice I'm going to give that one to the 5T and uh, let's have a look at the GPS performance both have their location turned on on uh, high accuracy and you can see here nice uh, lots of life from both of them uh, I think uh, the pixel probably coming with uh, some more green bars here both of them have the same kind of uh, in use and accuracy very similar actually between two of them here I can't see a massive difference but I think the pixel has more uh, bars green so I'm probably going to give it to uh, 
uh, Google Camp here, Team Pixel. And uh, let's have a look at some web page loading. So just load BBC. Go. So Pixel again here, only just I uh, saw a little bit snappy there to load the page. Uh, the screen on the Pixel I don't think is quite as bright as what you're getting with the uh, the OnePlus 5T and the lack of bezel makes the browsing experience much more enjoyable. So do bear that in mind. I think that uh, Google should have made the smaller Pixel have the same uh, bezel ratio really as the bigger one. Because people like small phones are often punished. Uh, so you can see here, looks like the 5T coming back uh, with the uh, nice load speeds there. Uh, let's just round off looking at the multitasking. So quite uh, good hardware. I don't think you're going to have many issues here. Uh, although you did see a reload there, because uh, this, you know, the OnePlus 5T has a little bit more RAM. I would expect the Oreo though to be much more optimized. You see, it's reloading all over the place, so that's not very good for Team Pixel. Uh, so straight away here, I think uh, you can see the 5T is keeping things in memory much easier and is generally doing much better overall when it comes to the multitasking. Oh, we still have music. Uh, but I think the 5T is a clear winner here. Absolutely fantastic uh, performance. Uh, for less price as well, you know, this is why I'm saying, you know, if you're charging top whack, you better have the best performance. Uh, so let's have a look at the other things then to consider here with the Pixel. Obviously, you're going to get a better camera uh, overall uh, in terms of the shots. Uh, but in terms of the actual video, I was quite surprised that the Pixel is actually missing uh, quite a nice mode. Uh, in terms of the video recording so I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about here uh, so on the OnePlus 5T you do actually get uh, I think 60 frames per second video recording it's not 4k like the iPhone but uh, it's nice to have actually and really lends to a nice uh, kind of video here so I'll just do a quick side by side showing you some nice snow I mean look at that, that is a huge difference in terms of the immersiveness because this is only like 30 frames per second or 24 or something I mean it just makes it look so much better here so I don't know why that's been missed out, you know it is uh, quite an expensive phone you would expect to have the all the uh, options really uh, on the Pixel uh, other thing to consider here though is that we do get dual front facing speakers which is quite nice, you know, quite immersive for your uh, entertainment. Uh, you're also going to get obviously Android updates a lot faster than any other phone although OnePlus is usually quite good here uh, and also what else does it have? It has a uh, high price, <laughs> that's the only other thing I can think of actually. Uh, you know, I think overall the 5T seems to be bringing more value for money and is, uh, you know, more of a success as the Nexus line, uh, and that's why I do quite enjoy them. They just need to fix some of the issues, really, in terms of, you know, the backdoor security exploits, which has put a lot of people off uh, OnePlus. But it's, I mean, it's good that they, you know, fix the jelly effect here. So they are listening and learning. 
Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison between the 5T and the uh, Pixel. If you want to summarize, I'd say this is better for your multitasking, etc. Uh, and also, you know, the, the, the value. Whereas the Pixel seems to be better for your apps opening and also the, uh, the stills, like the pictures, etc. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.